Um, good morning, Your Honor. My name is Panam Bhatti, and I will be presenting today the case, The People versus Richard Kalati. Good morning. Go ahead. <laughs> this afternoon. <laughs> good, yes, afternoon. Okay. Um, okay, so Richard Kalati was charged with assault in second degree as a hate crime, assault in third degree as a hate crime, and criminal possession of a weapon in fourth degree, harassment in second degree. This crime took place on October 14, 2012 at 345 in Crooks Bar, where Richard Kalati approached uh, Christine, Christine and Daryl Carollo, yes, Christine and Daryl Carollo, and he stated some racial comments saying, who are you to bring a N in this bar? And then saying, when Daryl approached him, he said, yeah, there is a problem. Take your fat ass B and your other B and get your black some crap out of here. And then, so he was being <laughs> racial towards, <laughs> towards both of the victims. So there were three people involved, three were victims, Daryl Carrots, Rosemary Powell, and Christine Carrots. Christine was punched by Richard Collati as well as um, Rosemary Powell. When they were exiting the bar, all three of them together, Richard came with uh, several people and Christine and Daryl were held down and punched repeatedly. Then Richard decided to go grab a bottle, a green bottle, and he approached uh, Daryl to hit him with the bottle. He caused a laceration on Daryl's hand, but there was nothing serious done. And yeah, that's about it. Okay. <laughs> so um, his girlfriend fought, but Daryl didn't fight with Richard Kalati. That's what he said. Yes. Right? And you can see that he was then charged with a superior court information, right? Mm -hmm. That and means he pled guilty? I, I assume, yeah. Do you know what, what, what the result was? No, I tried to search it online, but I couldn't find uh -huh. anything. Okay, well, he was, he was uh, the superior court information contained, contained the charges assault in the second degree without being a hate crime, which is a class D felony, and a, an assault in the third degree, a class A misdemeanor. So uh, even so, uh, assault in the second degree is a class D felony. He could have gotten up to seven years in state prison, anything from probation to seven years. Uh, but it's a violent, and he would be being marked for life as a, as a felony offender, uh, having a felony conviction. This is obviously a plea agreement. Uh, this was done before the case was presented to the grand jury. and. Uh, he got punished. He probably had no record prior, that's why. Okay, you have any questions? Yes, um, do you think it benefits, whenever hate crimes come to the court, do you think it benefits them to punish these people by just sending them to jail? Because don't you think that them sitting in a cell is just gonna make them feel more rage growing towards these people instead of being able to understand them be in a better way? That's, you may be very right there. You may be very right. And in some cases, it could make it worse. But a lot of people can be educated while in jail. Uh, some people become model prisoners. Some people even get law degrees while they're in prison. So hopefully, when somebody is in jail, they have time to think about what they did. Hopefully, uh, somebody, they have some kind of education system that can educate them. And hopefully, if it's one of these cases where he got a short jail time followed by probation, the probation department requ would require him to go to some kind of therapy uh, where you learn about different people and how we're all human beings and no matter how different we are, we're all the same, hopefully. But you may, you may have a point there. Uh, but, you know, sometimes the state has to be firm and you must punish. Okay? All right, thank it you. It depends. Okay, thank you.